Hello, this is Mr. Tipton, and we are back continuing to talk about uh, proportionality and whether or not two things are proportional. In the last video, we talked about expressions and equations. Today, we're going to look at tables and graphs. First, we're going to talk about graphs. Feel free to pause so that you can write everything down before you hear me talk about it. Uh, but basically, it's really easy to tell whether or not graphs show a proportional relationship. Proportional graphs show a constant rate of change with a straight line. You can see here on the left in the green that this graph does show a proportional relationship because there is a straight line. That's it. Data is changing constantly. It's changing at a constant rate, which means that's proportional. A graph that does not show a proportional relationship would be like the one on the right, the red one. There's curves in the line. So the data is still changing as you move from left to right, but it's not changing at the same rate. And that's why there's, it goes up steep and it goes up not steep and just the curves. It's inconsistent. It's not proportional. So graphs are really easy. Let's talk about tables where is where the graphs that are made usually have data from a table that builds the graph. All right, you can tell if the data in tables is proportional if all of the x's are being multiplied or divided by the same thing to get the y's. That makes absolutely no sense to you right now, but that's okay. We're going to look at some examples. Pause if you need to, get this written down. You can tell if the data in the tables is proportional if all of the x's are being multiplied or divided by the same thing to get the y's. Here's an example. We've got a table of data. The x's are 2, 4, 5, 6, and 9. The y's are 8, 16, 19, 24, 46. And to tell if this shows a proportional graph, I'm sorry, if this is a proportional table, the same thing has to be being done to the x to get to y. Well, let's look here. What is done to 2 to get 8? Well, we multiply by 4. What is done to 4 to get 16? Well, we multiply by 4. Those are the same. What is done to 5 to get 19? Well, 5 times 4 is 20, so whatever you have to multiply 5 by to get 19, it's not the same thing as the other two. 6 times 4 is 24, those are the same. But then again down here, 9 times 4 is not 46, it's actually 36. So not the same, the same thing is not being done to all of these x's to get the y's. So, basically, no. This table does not show a proportional relationship. Make sense? Maybe. Let's look at another. Here we've got negative 50 and 10. What is done to negative 50 to get 10? Well, you divide by... That's going to have to be a negative because negative divided by negative is positive. And 50 divided by 5 is 10. Well, let's see if that works for all of them. Negative divided by negative is positive. 35 divided by 5 is 7. Same thing. If we go all the way down we'll see that every one of these x's is being divided by negative 5 to get the y. The same thing is happening. All of the x's are being divided by the same number. It's also being multiplied by negative 1 fifth. That's the same thing. Dividing by negative 5 and multiplying by negative 1 fifth. These actually mean the same thing. Um, either way you want to look at it. But bottom line is, yes, this table does show a proportional relationship. Another example? One more. 
what's being done to negative 6 to get negative 36. 6 times 6 is 36, and negative times positive is negative, okay? 9 times, negative 9 times 6 is negative 54. Negative 8 times 6 is negative 48. Negative 3 times 6 is negative 18. And oh, 0 times what gives us 0? Well, anything, really. But 0 times 6 is still 0. So again, again, everything in the x column is being multiplied by the same number. So yes, this does show a proportional relationship. All of these x's and y's in the tables, these are actually points on a graph. You saw the graphs on the first screen. It's, it, it represents data. When we get into real world things, you'll see these points plotted on a graph. And if it makes a straight line on the graph, then you know it's proportional. All right. Write your questions down if you have any. And come ready to class tomorrow. We will see you soon.